So this year, 2015, the Nobel Prize in Physics is being awarded to Takaki Kijita and Arthur B. MacDonald for discovering neutrino oscillations demonstrating that neutrinos have mass. In honor of this breakthrough, I figured it would be appropriate to make a video giving a quick rundown on neutrinos. To begin, what the hell is a neutrino? Neutrinos are everywhere. They permeate the very space all around us. They can be found throughout our galaxy, in our sun, and every second tens of thousands of neutrinos are passing through your body. But there's no need to be alarmed, because these tiny particles barely interact with anything. In fact, they can pass through the entire Earth without being affected. Neutrinos are fundamental particles that were first formed in the first second of the early universe, before even atoms could form. They are also continually being produced in the nuclear reactions of stars like our Sun, and nuclear reactions here on Earth. Because of the neutrinos' elusive behavior, their existence wasn't even known about until 1959, even though they had been predicted back in 1931. Wolfgang Pauli first predicted the neutrino in order to account for the apparent loss of energy and momentum that he observed when studying radioactive beta decays. He predicted that the missing energy was being carried off by some unknown particle, the particle, later discovered, called the neutrino. There are three types of neutrinos, electron neutrino, muon neutrino, and tau neutrino. According to the standard model, there exist 12 fundamental particles. Each flavor of the neutrino has a corresponding charged particle from which it gets its name. The standard model consists of three generations, and each generation has two quarks, a neutrino, and a charged particle. The particles in the standard model are separated into two types, quarks and leptons. The quarks interact via the strong nuclear force, while the leptons interact via the electromagnetic or the weak nuclear force. Neutrinos are nearly massless and have no electric charge. Therefore, unlike the other particles, they only interact via the weak nuclear force. So we now know what a neutrino is, a subatomic particle that is the result of radioactive beta decay. We also know all the flavors of neutrinos and what particle they correspond to. But now onto the discovery. Neutrino oscillations. For all of recent history, we have been observing the sun trying to observe electron neutrinos, but the number we were getting was way less than expected. And then, in 1998, we discovered that neutrinos have a slight mass, about one five hundred thousandths of an electron. That means that neutrinos are able to change their flavors when going from their origin point to another destination. This occurs because the neutrino flavor eigenstates are not the same as the neutrino mass eigenstates. Eigenstates need a whole video on their own, but basically eigenstates are the possible values you can get on doing a measurement on a certain operator, usually written like this. But that's beside the point. The recent discovery lets us fill another piece of the puzzle of our understanding of the universe. The implications of this are massive. But that's for the next video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned. The universe is ours to explore. If you like the content, please consider dropping a like and subscribing to this channel. Check us out on Facebook and Twitter, and if you found this video informative, please consider sharing. Drop a comment so we can hear your feedback, and we'll see you next time.